Hey everyone, welcome back to Catching Up with the Walkers. Welcome, Cassie, back on the farm. I'm happy you're home. I'm happy to be home. I missed you. Miss you. I missed you more. I ain't playing that game. Oh, come on. All right, well, I, I didn't- I missed my bed a lot, but I missed you more than my bed. Okay, well, if you guys uh, weren't aware, Cassie was gone to camp, church camp with Mazzy, and you wanna give us a rundown, how did it go? You said the bed was not great. Well, I mean, they were just bunk beds and bunk bed mass mattresses, so I took my thing that I, this memory foam that I take when I go places like that, and it was okay. Um, food was good. They had fun activities. Chapel was great. Kids had a good time. All right. It was just really hot. It was uh, hotter last week than it's going to be this week. Mm -hmm. So this week we actually have, I'll call it a cool front, in July because the highs are around like 83, 84. So it's going to be awesome for the next week. So yep. we are looking forward to that, but we thought we'd catch up real quick just um, about what's been going on since Cassie was gone. When I was home, I had Little Bear and Ransom, and we got a lot of work done as far as getting supplies for the bus. Yep. So our next Walker Farm Fan video that you guys see should be, Lord willing, us getting some bus floor down. Yep. Fingers crossed it happens. <laughs> he waited till I got home for that. Well, no, I missed fun. I missed a full day because Little Bear was home all day. He wasn't feeling well one day, so I mi I was gonna I planned on working that day. Yeah. And that didn't work out, but. That's okay. Yep. Because um, we'll get to work on the bus. So, uh, other than that, though, everything went good. And now I've got another project to do today. Always something. So, Cassie's been cleaning up a little bit, in and out. I've been helping clean too. Um, Rangers had a birthday party coming up. Yep. He's going to have some friends over. Not, not really a birthday party. It's not like a big thing for family and everybody to come to. But as they get older, they want to invite a couple of friends to go do something. So, Gonna go to the creek with a couple of friends and then stay the night in the bus. All right, so the bus floor has to be done. At least the wood has to be down. Yep. So there's not holes in the floor. And uh, later, here in just a little bit, I'll bring you guys along. I got some new lights, LED turn signal lights. So when we bought our new to us pickup to 2017 with uh, 150, 60,000 miles, but my mirrors have lights in them and they're all busted up and one of them does not work. So I got some new mirrors lights off of Amazon. So I'm gonna put those on and do some other stuff around out on the farm. And of course, I'm gonna take you guys along and check on the animals later. Yep, I, like Gary said, I'm cleaning up the house, kind of doing some deep cleaning that's been needed, um, but I haven't been home. So doing some deep cleaning and laundry and all that fun stuff. All right, and do you see my new hat? I like it. So my buddies over at Speed Bump Garage and um, Grow Jack. Grow Jack Outdoors, or no, Grow Jack. Well, for some reason I want to say Grow Jack Outdoors. <laughs> but Grow Jack and Speed Bump Garage, I ordered me a new hat. So if you guys are looking for some cool merchandise, they've got some new stuff over there. And let since they're the like the best subscribers at Catching Up With The Walkers because they put up with almost anything from us. Uh, if you guys are interested, we're gonna have some new merchandise coming, hopefully in the next, probably about a month out. Yep, we're working on it. But we officially are working on it. Yep. So it should be on its way soon, and you guys will be the first to know when it goes live. That way you can beat all the Walker Farm Fam subscribers to yep. it, even yep. though it's gonna say what Walker Farm Fam on it. Yeah, no catching up with the Walker stuff, but Walker Farm fan. Yeah, so everything did go good on the farm though. Luckily, uh, nothing major happened or fell apart while Cassie was gone, but I do wanna write it down, note it. You guys can know that I missed her a bunch and I'm so happy she's back. Yeah, so let's get to chores and work. All right, so I'm gonna go install these lights first and then uh, maybe we'll catch up with Cassie later. Do some chores? Yep. All right. So I made it out here to the truck and I'll show you guys these are in pretty rough shape They're all cracked up and this one doesn't work at all. And then on the other side over here uh, It does light up, but just barely so I have it on right now So you can see it has a little bit of orange lit up, but it's cracked up right here bad and I turned the signals on and there's no signal on them at all I'm not quite sure if those are signals or not, 
but they are running lights so they should at least um, light up and they're in bad shape so I'm gonna look into this see how to take these off I think you just pull the mirrors off but when I google it or YouTube it and figure it out I'll meet back up with you in just a second so I did figure it out this top one you just pull on it and it just pops right off so I want to try it with the bottom one so now that we got the mirror loose it's a seven metric it took me a while to find out which one it is but taking off uh, some bolts that back it up All right, should come right off, let's see. All right, that's off. And now we have full access to our little um, light, which is just right in here. So I got it off. Got the plug still intact. You gotta watch these little uh, backs on here. You'll snap the uh, plug piece off that makes it connect. Anyway, I got it off, but you can definitely tell why it wasn't working. Look at that water running out of it. It's all cracked and got lots of years of use. So there's the old one. Look at the same direction here. Old one versus new one. So I think these were about, I don't know, maybe fifty dollars sixty dollars on amazon and uh thinking that this will fix our problem though we'll find out very soon there we go we have light and we have signal so it's the daytime right now middle of the day can't see that very well but it works All right, so this looks so much better. There's the uh, running light or daytime light. Again, it's in the middle of the day, so it doesn't look very bright right now. But that one didn't work at all. Never has worked since I owned the truck. And I haven't owned it that long, but looks a lot better for 50, 60 bucks. Not a bad deal at all. So a very similar thing on this side. Got water leaking out. The old one is busted, cracked. And that's pretty common. These mirrors, when you're going through the woods or going through um, gates or going through anything, you can knock um, holes in them, uh, debris flying down the road, pops up, hits your mirror, it's busted. So there's the old, there's the new, and swap them out. I thought everything was going good. And now, here's the old light. They don't have a whole lot of light there, but it's lit up. I take this one out, and I put in the new light. And I get absolutely nothing. So, I'm guessing this light is bad. Brand new light from the company. So, unfortunately, and it passed. Look, QC, passed. Quality control. Unfortunately, that's what you're dealing with sometimes. Things happen. So, now I got to figure out if I have to send both of these back to get new ones. I'm going to go uh, figure out what I can do to get another light. Which stinks because... It took me about 15, it takes 15, 20 minutes uh, on each light, maybe 30 to get all this apart and get it out. So, oh well, that's, that's life sometimes, it stinks. So things didn't quite go as planned on the first project on the truck. So we're gonna go on to the second project. So this little third brake light and cargo lamp area light has a big crack right here in the top. It's kind of hard to see. I'm gonna go ahead and take these off and show you guys. But these are all things that I noticed um, whenever I first bought the truck. Let me get down here where you guys can see what's going on. And I just never did uh, really get around to uh, doing it yet. But I ordered uh, the kids some stuff off Amazon the other day for uh, their birthdays and I thought, I still need to order that stuff for me. So I went ahead and did it. It's just frustrating whenever things don't go as planned. But 
that happens sometimes so let's see here how is this going to change out well here's the problem on this one it's a completely different wiring harness so this one's not going to work either <laughs> all kinds of fun today uh so let me show you guys these basically are just bulbs which that one looks like it's burned out um they go in here and the new one has one big nice wiring harness so unless i can find a wiring harness like this back here somewhere which i don't see one then i'm not going to be able to change this out so where there's a wheel and a redneck there's a way i uh rewired it and got it wired up so let's go see if it works all right lights work let's try the brake lights there we go so this came with a little thing that whenever you turn them on it starts flashing about five times. All right, looks like it works. So everything is wired up, secured, and it's still working. So now I just have to get my new um, light for my mirror uh, for the other side. And I'll ask them if I have to take this one off or if they can just swap me out that single one. That would be the best. Um, but I'm also tempted to just buy lights from the ford dealership oem uh just because sometimes with aftermarkets it's kind of hit or miss on the quality of parts you get so i'll see how they deal with me i cannot stand returning things though it's just it's a hassle and you have to wait on it and it's a pain and i already ordered it and waited on it once so anyway i'll let you guys know how that goes but for now i have one light that works so Cassie and Little Bear just got back home. Uh, they actually took swimming clothes to Ranger and Mazzy and Ransom. They're gonna go swimming at uh, their aunt's house. So I'm gonna come out here and do the chores. And Zena has kind of taken up this little corner over here. Buddy, you better stay back. Zena does not like animals next to her when she eats. <laughs> hey, Zena, be nice to him, okay? You go eat. You go eat your food, girl. I'm gonna try to sneak Benjamin a little bit of food before all the others come around. Benjamin, watch out, buddy. Come over here, come over here. There you go. I'm not saying I have favorites, but Benjamin might be one of my favorites. Uh, looks like Sue's full of food. That kind of looks like a turkey got attacked in here. All them feathers around. Zena, where did it happen to that turkey? Why is there feathers everywhere? Now I gotta go check on the other turkey. All right, that turkey's doing good. And then Cassie's other red bourbon turkey's right over there. So I don't know what all those feathers were about, but apparently this turkey's okay. Hey, donkey donks. Hey, babies. How are my girls today? And boy, huh? How's it going? So somebody found a big truck to play with. He loves pushing trucks. He loves trucks, doesn't That's he? That's actually a remote control one, so he's getting mad at it because it like it wants the remote control to do it. Uh -huh. It kind of has a little more pushback than the regular ones do. Here. Well. Push it down the hill. Push it down the little hill. He loves to push trucks around and Baby, around and around. Jump because you have to have <laughs> uh, Well, you can try. It's nothing against trying. All right, I'm gonna go Can check you on that little one. No, we don't eat dirt. Check on my charger, Cassie. Is it a sunny day? No. It is not a sunny day, and I am at 97% on my battery. So, a lot of times you don't need a ton of sun oh, to uh, charge up your solar. You just need daylight. So the kids are swimming. Yep. They're gonna have fun with that. Oh yeah, yes. My cousin. <laughs> Well, you know, you, you love playing with your cousins when you were little. Yeah. And I love playing with my cousins when I was little. So the other three are having a good time 
playing with their cousins. So Cassie and uh, Little Bear came back to check out the big chicken pen. Come here, baby. Here, you want to throw in some corn and throw in bite bites? Throw it out there. They like to eat it. Throw it. Can you throw it? Wow, good throw. Good more. throw. Some more, please. No, you don't eat. Here, throw more. Throw it. Good job. There you go. And throw more. Yeah, that's Lily. And throw more. Throw it. Woohoo! <laughs> Chickens love this food. Okay, so I think you have another rooster back here, Cassie. See that rooster right there to the right, left of that red one? That uh, new chicken? Shelby! That pretty colored one that we both like? Yeah, that I pretty... I thought it was a rooster too, possibly. Yeah, I'm like 99% sure it's a rooster. So, unfortunately. I've been wanting to get rid of William, so I might keep it back here. I don't know. Might trade some William out for... I don't know. It's good to have a purebred rooster in here with them. So then if I sell eggs and stuff, I at least know what the rooster is. But if it would come out, I remember I put it in here because it's so pretty. I was really hoping it would be a hen. Yeah. Careful, baby. Good throw. All right, let's go check for eggs. See our corn growing? William's not mean, so then it's hard for me to get rid of him. The other one might turn out to be mean. I know. Yeah, one of the big risks you take when you get a new rooster is that he's mean mean to people, but so far that rooster isn't at all, so we'll see. Good job. Oh, you need more? Say more, please. Okay, here's more. There you go. Okay. Oh! Threw it way out there. Come on. What? You want more? Okay, these chickens want more too. Cheek, cheek. There you go. This is a lot of fun throwing stuff out to the chickens, isn't it? All right, you gotta grip it at some point. There you go. Oh, there it is. That one right there is the yeah, see rooster. This looks like a fan, but it looks like it's maybe getting two coming over the top, so it probably is a rooster. Yeah. So your other chickens are shy. They like to go over there against the fence. So we lost our green uh, layer to the stokes, green egg layer. Yeah, which is okay because that means I can get more. And you said you have two what? Um, crested leg bar, I think is what they're called. Something like that. They have a little thing on top of their head. They look just like those two in the back. They, um, the farm shop um, on TikTok and Facebook, she gave me, she's out of Claremore, Oklahoma. She gave me some legs at, eggs at the expo and I hatched them out. And they're a barnyard mix, but she told me what all was in there and what roosters and what hens. And um, the crested leg, leg, what did I say? I have no idea. Let me look it up real quick. Okay. Crested cream leg bars. And they got this little thing on top of their head and they're that color. And I got two over there. Crested cream leg bar. Gary's having to video with a... So several people have said, why do you call him Little Bear and why don't you show him? He is a foster child, so we can't show him. We can, we can show the show, back of his head. We can only show 50% uh, of his face. But, and some of you guys might be hearing him call us mama and daddy, and some people might say, well, why is he calling you that? Because every kid deserves a mommy and a daddy, and he hears our kids call us that, so we're not going to correct him. We're his mama and daddy right now. Yeah, that's what we are right now. We're foster mom, foster dad, and uh, it's kind of hard to say foster for a one-year-old, so he says mom and dad. So we... Uh, Need to get some more grain back here. Looks like the chickens about finished this one up. I'll bring a new sack tomorrow. They got plenty of grasshoppers and I think we threw out an abundance of corn today. So, uh-oh, Cassie said code brown. <laughs> that means that somebody needs a new diaper and it's not her, thankfully. So we're gonna head back to the house uh, and take care of that. So a little bit of an update on the mirrors slash light situation. So I have filed my uh, re return 
And so what happens is they send me new lights out right now and I have 30 days to return the old ones. So I'm gonna leave this one installed. I'm not gonna take it out. And when I get the new ones in, then I will install the other side. So hopefully they work, fingers crossed, because absolute pain to change. And hopefully this next one um, works like it's supposed to. I just don't like it when things don't go as planned. So I've been making sure my power bank is charged up so we can go pump some water. What are we gonna get out of the stock tank, Ranger? Some fish. Some goldfish and or koi or whatever you wanna call them. They have overpopulated. So we have an overpopulation. Time to take some out and relocate. And that's what we're gonna do now. So let's check our uh, power bank. Where are we at? Where are we at? Oh, that's a light. That's not gonna do anything. 99%. Okay, that, that'll work. Go off light. So for those of you that are not familiar with our setup down here, we have a water pump down in the ground a well pump that runs on a 110 volt. So all we have to do is take a power bank and it pulls around 1800 watts, but we take it down here, plug it in and it pumps about three or 400 gallons of water up into the uh, tank. So let's go ahead and do that first. I'll we'll give you guys an idea. Uh, we used to do solar right here, but the solar pumps kept uh, messing up on us and would only last about two years. And the electric pump seems to last a lot longer, but I think it's pulling 1500 watts. Ranger, how cold is that water? Ice cold. It feels ice cold, but you know what's funny? What? In the summertime, I mean wintertime, it feels warm just because it's cold outside. But we're going to go ahead and get a little more water in here. We're kind of behind. We need to pump it. Oh, so we probably need to pump that every morning and every night and sometimes we skip uh, either a morning or a night so we want to get it all the way full and keep it there but we're going to let it pump up and let's get in there and see if we can catch some fish. You need to come up and get a drink Bubba? All right, back up a couple steps Ranger. Let's see if he wants a drink. Uh, he's thinking about it. Yeah, he wants him a drink so we're going to take a step back. We'll come over here and look at the rest of the cows. Here's our newbies. They're doing good. Hey, pretty girls. So both of these should have a calf in about two months. He should be leaving in the next couple weeks. And Mary should be having a calf. She'll have one in seven months. And I'm expecting uh, Pepper to be bred back over there. And Salt's got a calf. And then Blackberry should be bred back. So... Several cows are here to have calves soon, so that'll be exciting. I kind of miss our black calves on the ground, Ranger. But they're coming back. All right, that's big old steer. He didn't get a drink. He didn't get a drink? Okay. What about Belle? Does she want one? Belle, you getting a drink? Nope. Okay. Well, we're going to catch our fish then. So, there's some pretty big fish in here. The original two that we put in are the biggest. And then... There's some smaller ones. So, uh, they have really populated. Ranger, try not to put yeah. it on the bottom. Well, because if you do, it'll stir up any, any kind of silt down there. But, oh, I thought I had one. But I just put um, a cup of bleach in here and we do that about once a month we put try to put a cup of bleach to kind of kill any kind of bacteria or anything and the fish have never been harmed by it so they live through the bleach and everything oh man let's see if i can show you guys and for those of you that think this is too dirty you're wrong it's just fine it's uh better condition than a pond is in since it has a concrete bottom oh got one. got one there we go so this is what i'm talking about i saw like i don't know eight or ten of these floating around earlier and we do not need that many fish so there's one now ranger and i are going to catch some more 
water settle. I'll see one right here. This is tougher than it looks, guys. So we're gonna go, we're gonna do some fishing for a little bit. We'll catch back up with you on our next catch. All right, Ranger got the next one. You wanna show it to him? That's a pretty good one. It's really bright. Hey, buddy. Uh oh, look who's coming. Bella. <laughs> <laughs> she likes the water. <laughs> I kind of pushed Bella in. Bella. That's the fish. She's like, oh, this is nice. <laughs> Stock dogs also love ponds, if you didn't know that. Bella might actually help us once she realizes there's something in here. But do you guys have any tricks for keeping your stock tanks? I've heard some people say put copper in them. Uh, but like I said, we usually just do a cup of bleach and it seems to work pretty good. Oh man, they're sticking fast. Right there, Ranger, right by you. Right, down, right by the edge, coming to you. You get it? Oh, we thought we had that one tired out. Belly, you gonna get out, girl? Bella. <laughs> Go ahead and pull her collar a little bit. Help her out. Come here, Bella. Come here, baby. I kind of wanted to see if Bella could get out of here by herself, but I don't, she might have problems. Ready? Woo, watch for that shake. Oh, wet dog shake. All right, we'll catch back up if we catch another fish. I'm winning, two to one. Well, we have another guest at the watering hole. Hey, Alvin, how are you, buddy? You know anybody that can catch goldfish? Can you do it? Huh? All right, we're gonna let it settle for a little bit, but Mariposa and up over there, Honey, Alfred and Alvin all came up to get them a drink. So you can see why we wanna take care of our watering hole here. It's because all of our livestock depend on it in the summertime. We don't get nearly as much rain and our ponds don't keep very much water in them. So this is the main source. Look, Ranger, there's one coming up right there by the edge. This is our main source of water in the summertime. So we wanna make sure and uh, keep it clean and nice for them. And guys, there's really no way to keep this crystal clear. I mean, it's a eight foot diameter um, tire tank but every cow that comes up drops in some kind of sediment, like this little bit of grass and stuff like that. And what happens is that kind of breaks down and settles to the bottom. But the water itself, if you get a bucket out, is clear. You can see through it. Um, it's kind of like pond. Oh, there goes one. So anyway, we've been doing it this way for a while. I mean, at least eight years here, but lots of other ranchers do the exact same thing and it is just part of life. Uh, this water is good for them though. So there's, see those three? Oh man. Oh, almost had that big one. All right, Ranger, we calling it? Yeah. All right, Ranger said we're calling it. That means today I caught two. And Ranger caught one. There is the catch of the day. And uh, we got about, I think we probably got about four or three or four more to catch at least. There goes that big one taunting us. But 
Ranger did remind me, last time we caught these fish, we used our really big chicken net. So that's probably what we'll get next time. But there's more sport doing it this way, isn't there, Ranger? Mm -hmm. It's a lot harder. You actually have to try. So there it is. The stock tank's a little cleaner. The livestock remain happy. And that's the way we like to keep it at Walker Farm. So we're going to head back toward the house, but uh, we want to thank you guys so much for taking some time out of your day to spend with us. And as far as prayer requests today, please remember our dear friend Stacy Hennington, um, their neighbors, Cassie's co-worker, friends. Um, she is still battling brain cancer and um, she's had a, a rough um, few days. So if you would please keep her and her family in your prayers as she continues to fight that awful disease. But we want to thank you again for following along. We hope you have a great day and God bless.